attacks of Mars. And this, I'm going to have fun with this one. So, go grab a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, because you're going to enjoy this. Ecosexual Pro University of Michigan professor writes about talking erotically to plants. She's crazy. Right there, I'm all done with it. Uh, sex is for making babies, you idiot. University of Michigan professor Sarah Inser published an academic journal article this month that argues that humans should establish erotic relationships with plants. Unbelievable. <laughs> Jesus, she should be locked up. Originally highlighted in Twitter account New Peer, New Real Peer Review, Answers Journal article explores the field of ecosexuality, term which means sexual relationship between humans and plants. You idiot! Sex is for making babies! What the hell's wrong with you? I'll show you the article. This idiot actually gets off looking at plant, touching plants. What the hell? <laughs> Jesus. This is a nutcase. I, I mean, she belongs in a nut house. I don't care. Where are the mental hospitals in this country? Back to the article. Answer, an English professor at the University of Michigan, begins by citing the Ecosex Manifesto, <laughs> which was penned by UC Santa Cruz professor Elizabeth Stevens. Breitbart News originally reported on Stevens and her Ecosex movement in September, then Stevens was promoting your documentary in which she and others <laughs> lick trees <laughs> roll in mud and engage in sexual <laughs> elements of nature. These people are sick in the hut. You idiots. Sex is for making babies. Can't you understand that? Answer begins her article by citing Stephen's manifesto. Ecosexuals make love with the earth. We shamelessly hug trees, massage the earth with our feet, and talk erotically to plants. Oh my god. Uh, folks, we got some serious nutcases running our universities, and here's the proof. Now, Professor Ensor is carrying on nonsensical tradition started by Stevens. In her journal article, she ar argues that the environmental spaces must be welcomed to queer and polymorphous sexual identities. According to Sigmund Freud, or Freud, I mean, polymorphous sexual <laughs> sexuality refers to the ability to receive sexual gratification from activities that are aren't traditionally considered to be sex or sexual. I can say something here, but I better not. Likewise, when queer, ecocentric Catriona's Sandalands suggests that in order for environmentalism to go just beyond saying no, Spaces for exploration must be allowed to flourish and proliferate, and relatedly, that polymorphous sexual sexualities and multiple natures are in the heart of green resistances. What on earth? <laughs> this is too good. If answers work is on the indication, sexuality ecosexuality movement is growing in America. 
In other words, they've uh, closed down the mental hospitals and the patients are in our universities uh, drawing a salary instead of being locked up in cells, which is where they belong. Stay tuned to Breitbart News for more updates on professors making out with trees. Oh, that's all I really want to look forward to is hearing about more nutcases uh, uh, doing it with trees. Unfreaking believable. May the thorns get in your you know what? Man, that'll teach the fuel or something. Or maybe one of these idiots will, uh... Here's an idea. Maybe one of these idiots could make love to an ant fire ant's nest. That would be funny to watch. <laughs> Give <laughs> this one more time. Interdisciplinary studies in literature and environment. I think we can safely say that your average tabloid has far more credibility than whatever this piece of garbage is. Unbelievable. Jeez. Uh, let's try to get some of these people who make love to fire ants nests. So that would be most entertaining to watch. Artifact from Mars. Thanks for watching.